Hello everyone! So today I have another throwback build for you. This one is a summer camp and I created this in my old legacy save and it really was just kind of something fun to send my sim to on like a vacation type thing. So the way I played this was I sent my Sims family for a couple days and just had them kind of camp. In my save, I pretended that my Sim was like the camp counselor and then just had all of their their friend, the kids' friends. Now there is a limit on the lot if you want to do it that way. I can't remember exactly how much it is off the top of my head right now, but I know you can only bring like eight or something uh, if you do a vacation. But you can set this as like a generic lot and just send your sim there and just, you know, live there for a few days. The problem with that is you're going to have random sims coming, but you know, it still works. So what I planned for this build was to have like a main kind of cabin and then have a couple of outbuildings. So like there's a dorm area, there's a, what I call the, you know, main counselor's cabin and another little like I don't know, arts, crafts type area, I guess you could call it. But yeah, so I created some different little buildings. Okay, they're pretty decent sized. And I did create this in the, it's the outdoor retreat pack on the lot where the National Forest is. But really any lot that it'll fit on could work. It just, you know, fits really well here. Unfortunately, due to that, the images when you try to upload it to the gallery are not very helpful or pretty. It's pretty much just trees. So I will make sure that the name of this build, when it's put on the gallery, is in the description below so you can search for it and figure out which one it is just in case all you see is trees. Now, I believe the front of it you do see. I've got that set up. Or at least I tried to set it up that way. I, as of recording this, I have not been able to get it on the gallery. Because I did go through and kind of update a few things, but I never uploaded it. This was something that I recorded and just never did anything with. And that's what a lot of these throwback vid videos are. I went through probably like a six month period where I just recorded, I didn't upload anything and then I just completely forgot about it all. Not all of it, but some of it. And yeah, so that's what a lot of these videos are, are just, you know, this time period where I was going through some things mentally and dealing with a lot in life and just kind of I just wanted to build and I just wanted to build for myself and decided to record it just in case I decided to upload and create some videos with it so that's kind of where a lot of these throwback builds are coming from okay so with this building i wanted to create as you can see like a library study area then there's a game room this is also where the cafeteria area is and a set of bathrooms there are a lot of bathrooms in this build i'm not sure why i just felt like every building needed a bathroom and yeah i probably would have been better off just creating a bathroom building there's also numerous potty bushes throughout the build too or at least a couple maybe not numerous but a couple 
So here I'm just playing around with different things. Like I said, the bathroom, I go to my, my go-to, which is I create the stalls. I just don't like how the, how the stalls work in this game. And personally, I'm not a fan of those stalls in real life. So, so we'll go to my go-to. And yeah, like I said, I just kind of went through. This building came together pretty quickly, which surprised me. Because when I first started building it, I didn't think I would do it this fast. But it all came together pretty easily. And I really love just this cabin -y, you know, vibe that I did. I debated about bringing that the patio area down, but I didn't. So I believe that is up on the final build. Now here is kind of the dorm area. So we have our bathroom that's gonna go in here, uh, this grid area that I've created. Um, it's your showers, your bath stalls, and then on either side of this center area are the dorms. And I did kind of separate them as girls and boys. Well, at least building-wise, it's The Sims. It probably, you know, you're not going to have it work that way unless you assign the beds to them. But... Also, if you are a PC user, I believe there is a couple of mods that will allow you to have more people on this lot. And it might be MC Command Center. I haven't played with it. I have that mod, but I haven't played with that part of it. I need to. And I believe there's a couple others. I will try to remember to put them in the description below in case you want to use those so you can bring more sims to this lot and use it as, as a vacation type thing so as i said if not just open it up and have it be a a park or something that you just stay at for days at a time it's okay it's not that weird we have national parks that we do that with right Okay, normally it's camping, not cabin sleeping, but there is some room for tents. I didn't specifically put like tent areas in here, but there's a couple of blank spots you could throw a couple of tents if you want to do that. But I kind of modeled this as a, you know, stay over summer camp. Kind of after one that I went to when I was a teenager. I debated about doing one that was more like what I did as a kid and as a Girl Scout, but that was hard to do on The Sims because they were literally like platform tents, which I guess wouldn't be hard. It just, it wouldn't be, you know, a good like build to do on video, I think. <laughs> Maybe, maybe not. I mean, now that I'm thinking about it more, I, I could do that, I guess. But when I was doing this build, I, I think, as I said, I was not in a great mental spot and probably just couldn't think of anything decent to do with it. So, so over here, I'm working on what I'm going to kind of refer to as the creative building. And here, putting in a couple more bathrooms. I don't know why I felt the need to put two in here, but I did. You could always take one out and, I don't know, use it for something else or make more space in the one side. I like how the there's an art room that'll go in here, and I like how that's set up around the bathroom. But the other side, which is where I have more of the crafty stuff, like your... Now I just can't even think of it, but like your woodworking table and that type of thing that side you could probably take that bathroom out and put more stuff in it if you wanted to i didn't mostly because you know again yeah i was making this build for me and i didn't think i needed that much stuff but after playing it you could probably put in a few more things if you wanted to so i do jump around a little bit kind of 
grabbing like lights and some things so and here I'm just kind of putting out like this roof I I can't think today windmill thank you okay but the the windmill that does go up on the roof eventually I can't remember if I do it in the recruiting or not but it's you know up there on the final build so this is the art room I did add to this after this video was done and I was playing in it there's now some kids tables in there and you know you might see that in the photo I took of this um, I didn't go in to take it it's an outside in looking in photo but I liked how it looked so that's the one I chose to use for that area so here now I'm just working on the fire pit area I did replace the fire pit here because it didn't work the way I wanted it to so that has a different like fire pit in the final build and then here just you know pathing around it and creating that nice community fire area I also put in you know a few things from cottage living just to kind of create that you know fun little nature addition to this and I'm just kind of picking out a few things there's a little bit of a playground it's hard to see the monkey bars but they're there eventually I do terrain paint in that area so you can see things a little bit better but the other thing with this build as I was watching it I did not record myself doing most of the landscaping so you'll see all of that in the final build as well that's kind of the problem with some of these older ones that you know I wasn't completely like set on putting these up on the channel they're not as detailed as my newer ones are so bear with me on a little bit of that I think this one's one of the worst for landscaping because you can see it's really bare here but no, the final product I absolutely love the final product with this it's just very beautiful you know for the sims anyway and very nature focused and I I had a lot of fun playing in this build and I hope you guys will download it and check it out as well and let me know what you guys think on this one because this was a ton of fun to build and I enjoyed playing in it but yeah trying to get all this working I will say I think I got the right fishing thing put in I do put a little fishing spot in this pond I think I got the right one when I originally built this I did not and I had to go back and find the right one but I'm pretty sure I got the right one this time so I apologize if you download this and the fishing part does not work <laughs> I tried okay but yeah it's it's tricky sometimes with that one but here just again putting in you know a couple little areas and you'll see like I said in the photos the landscaping a little bit more than what you're gonna see here because we are coming up to the end of the video I believe I roof this do a couple more things and then we are about done it's a short one compared to what I've been doing but that's part of the point of these is these throwback ones will be shorter and gives me more time to work on bigger builds that'll be the longer ones eventually I'll run out of these so is what it is so here you can see more of the finished product and the landscaping and all the stuff that I put into this so I am gonna go ahead and let you guys enjoy the interior and exterior photos for this build
Alright, I hope you guys are enjoying these throwback build videos. I'm really having fun going back in time and trying to figure out what I was thinking when I made these. So, you know, bear with me on that because I'm not sure where my mindset was anymore. But there's still a few more to do, so we've still got a few more coming and I am excited for you guys to see them. All right, so don't forget to hit the like, bu like button if you enjoyed this video and make sure to subscribe as well so that you can see when I post the next one. I post every Tuesday and Friday. So that's where you can find the videos or when you can find the videos. All right, guys, I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Bye.